Okay, what's up next? Well, we're stopped for our choices. Hopefully, we're starting to get fanned out. Hey, maybe the fur time's gonna be the charm. Eh, 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 maybe. But anyway, folks, hello and welcome back to some more Autowire Aeromono Mask of Deception on our last episode. I could speak to Nekini quite a bit. We are escorting her to Oshtar's manor, but Hacker just felt the need to be a little bit of a meanie. But we did actually head to the marketplace afterwards, and we did trade some looks with the Imperial Guard of the left. He's an imposing looking bloke, but maybe he'll be a nice guy on the inside, right? Who knows? Who knows indeed? But anyhow, let us continue. Hands forth. Right, so we have four choices once again. What shall it be? The tavern. Why not? Some more birds never hurt anybody, right? <laughs> more marrow, though. A marrow walks the busy street alone, having just dashed about the city, making payments to his creditors. <laughs> Do whatever you want, I just want to see more of you. With tired steps, Maro trudges toward his favorite bar, one that keeps a drinking tab open for him. Relief and comfort wash over him as he settles into his usual seats. I'd like to see you lot hanging out with each other. Though mindful of his finances, Maro considers it and decides to put the bottle on his tab. Oh, you're indulging yourself a bit. Just don't splurge too much. <laughs> A strong, honey-like fragrance fills his nostril as he drinks, flavors harmonizing on his tongue. Slowly nursing the sake, Maro allows his worries to melt away, enjoying a gentle, tipsy buzz. Wait, he's already drunk from just one cup? Dang, he's a light drinker. Either that or it's some really strong stuff, but I'm going with the light drinker part. Seeing Maro staring wistfully into his empty cup, the bartender speaks up. You get a splash too much. Unable to resist the temptation of fine sake, Maru continues to drink. Maru accepts the bill as the bar's owner hands it to him. I scanning the tall. That's gonna be way too much, eh? Hey, just a wee bit more. Upon hearing that, the bartender shakes his head apologetically. <laughs> You gotta fuss up the doll. 
先日たまっておられましたものを頂戴に上がりましたところな何を言われたでおじゃるかたかが飲み屋一軒に付けなど当家の古剣に関わる付けなどならん一括で払わせるとおっしゃられて OK な,なんでおじゃるとお After working and apologizing frantically in his father's place, this is the treatment Maru gets. Uh, Maru rubs his face, letting out a tired growl. No, he's gonna be broke! The barkeep watching on sheds a sympathetic tear for him. Uh, I know. I know. I know. I know. Dang, Papa Maruro. That small mercy is all the barkeep can do for him. You should have resisted the urge. Wow, that was shortly left. That's a far cry from Nekudes. Nekudes was like, what, 20 minutes? That was like five. Dang, Neb. Okay, well, I guess. Huh. We just got another one. You know, let's head to the bedroom at night. So, or should we go left? Now nah, we're saying right for now. Righty right. Mm. I woke up thirsty in the middle of the night. The only sound in the hall is a quiet breeze. It's like I could feel everyone else that's sleeping. Also crickets. And I believe some froggles. Some. I try not to disturb the peaceful quiet moving silently down the hall. Oh? I strain to make out a voice on the edge of my hearing. Where is it coming from? I pause next to her room, listening. Oh? Some acquaintances, I suppose. The conversation is too faint to make out. I can't tell what they're saying. Oh, you tease! I'm curious! As I walk away, their conversation only seems to grow more heated. Letting my concern get the better of me, I knock on her door. All goes quiet. Hello! Oh, oh. Hello. 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 I know, right? I slide the door open to find Kuon drinking tea. Remarkably alone. What, did they just like bail? No! 
なあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあなあな Oh, you know, just a late night cuppa. She does, in fact, have a textbook laid out in front of her. Yeah, no. As I puzzle over the strange situation, Kuon pulls something from her medicine bag. あまり飲みすぎるのは感心しないかな She hands me the medicine with a look that's somehow both blaming and caring うん、気をつける幻聴には思えんな実際、誰もいないそれじゃあ、おやすみなさいまた明日ね I mean, if they were there, they most certainly left without making a sound, eh? Oh, what's me? Dang, nap. Like, no squeaky floorboards? No, so, nothing. I take Guan's medicine on my way back, and suddenly I remember what I left for in the first place. <laughs> Well, that was something. Wait, whoa, 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 It just keeps on going and going and going. You know, if that's a continuation, though, because there was Karola there, and I'm curious about this, I would go to the other ones, but the, nah, 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 nah. I, I just gotta keep going right, because so far, that's been the most interesting side, in my opinion, eh? <laughs> Because heck, we got to see a new face of the Imperial Guard of the left, and we even got to see some more Maro. And we even got to hear like this little tidbit of conversation going on between Kuon and some acquaintances, I suppose, unless if she was just talking to herself, or maybe we're just hearing things, I don't know. <laughs> I return to the Hakuro Kaku to find a letter on my table. <laughs> Pray tell, can you read it out loud? Yikes, this is really formal looking. Let's see. Formal indeed. Now, Oh, some more Karula! The paper used to write the letter is finally made and smells faintly of incense. Seems like the proprietor of the inn is inviting us for drinks and dinner. The beautiful woman I met on the top floor of the inn, it has to be her. Oh, you know, Haku just gets around, solving some puzzles, meeting some new mysteries. Gon appears in front of me before I even have a chance to react. Well, she's pretty gorgeous for one. She serves some fan booze too. 
えらい美人なのは確かだな不思議で捉えどころがない美人クヨハン seems suspicious for some reason そうだクヨも行くかあ私も Yeah I tried fighting Kuan along, but her response seems hesitant. Well, yeah! I don't know. And hey, that might answer some of my suspicions and my noggin. ちゃんと挨拶したことはなかったからそれにお酒とチンミンも気になるしね、oh, Of course it would, you wee black hole それが目的かあ、oh, the cuisine What if go on and so I head for the top floor where we find wide open windows looking over the imperial capital The cityscape stretches all the way out to the horizon. <sighs> Kuan's eyes fix on the distant horizon, overlooking the city below. Oh, yeah, we just got to solve a little puzzle. Yeah. I wink at Kuon and walk up the mechanism, or walk up to the mechanism walking the stairs and find a surprise. Oh, it's that worker again! One of the Akuro Kaku's workers crouches by the mechanism, talking to herself obliviously. She seems to be struggling with the puzzle. Ah, that we catchphrase again. Did he break it? I managed to stop her just before she froze her full weight against the device. The worker's eyes fall on Kuan and she makes an odd noise. Ow! Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm just gonna say one wee thing right now. I am fairly certain that worker's name is gonna start with a T. Kuan traces the intricate workings with a finger, her eyes positively shining. <laughs> Kuon's 
私のお母様がねはは。最高の工芸品を集めていたんだ。正確に似合わず、こういうのが好きだったから。これはこちらかなそれでこれをこっちに動かしてはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあ You did good, love. You did good. 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 You The worker abruptly turns to begin wiping a perfectly clean section of the wall. Probably. As Queen approaches her to get a better look at her face, she crouches quickly to the floor. Next to us, the stairs slide down and unfold, unlocked by Kulon's handiwork. So, the Sakini Cassette Moraimas. Hi, Okamainako. With that, the worker returns to her wiping, her nose inches from the floor. Ikuzokon, Jamascha Warudaro. Oh, yeah, especially since she's been working at this end. I whisper my suspicion to Kuon, and she lets it go, moving to follow me up. <laughs> Such carelessness is inexcusable! Anyway, as we emerge into the hidden attic, the same incense as before assaults my nose. Still going, eh? Anyway, my eyes take a moment to adjust to the dark. I scan the familiar room. But the enigmatic woman from before is nowhere to be found? <laughs> Gone breathes her admiration as she takes in the scenery. <laughs> oh, there she is. Playful, satisfied laughter, like a chess master admiring a move, echoes in the dark. <laughs> Go on, Fletchies, freezing in place. I look over my shoulder, and there sits the Hakuro Kaku's owner. As if she'd been there the entire time. She's got you now! Masaka, Anata no Kuchikara Sono Yona Kotoba Gadera Nante. Omotte mo mimasen de shita? Oh, so they do know each other! Gone turn, still read in place, and I swear I can hear her slowly grinding to face her. Shibara kumina yuchini. あ、sudden palpable air of intimidation fills the room, blade-like and sharp.
In all honesty, Carol could probably level this entire place if she wanted to. <laughs> but there we have it! Mama Kuon! Or maybe Kuon felt it too. Her hand goes to, up to her neck, as though the hair had stood up. Oh, it's that type of family. Ah, so Asura gets mother. So she probably had a bunch of those. Ah! I like it! Yeah, 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 I know why. Okay, I'm not gonna divulge it though. Hmm. I mean, her hair color and ear color was quite familiar from the start. I'm, I'm talking about Kuon, by the way. And there was a certain character. Oh, that did not quite like connecting the dots in my head. She smiles self assuredly, but it only seems to make Kuan more uncomfortable. We each find seats across the table from Karola. Something feels off. Drink some sake. The fine libations and food are nowhere in sight. Karola simply sits, eyes rest on Kuon, smiling oddly. <laughs> Kuon avoids her stare, stiff and awkward. I whisper to Kuon, who remains frozen in Sarah? Yeah, share some of our tales, you know, play some catch up. I've never seen her like this. Uh-huh. group of surrogate mothers. The unusual Poro catches me off guard, huh? Wait, is this the first time we're actually going to see her art proper? Like, without a CG? That's pretty good! I like it! It's nice and gorgeous. I'm sorry, I've always liked Carol a lot from the first one. She's always second to my favorite, though. Carol is difficult to figure out. She has a noble, bearing, and knowing smile. But if there's one thing I know for certain, She's important to Kuon somehow. She smiles teasingly, and Kuon decides to break her silence. Her smile renders Kuon's silent again. Just as the conversation seems to be going nowhere, I start to speak up when. Matase! 
Oh, hello! That strange worker returns with cups balanced on a tray. The cups she places down are masterworks, even to an amateur's eyes. Oh, a clumsy one, are we? Her movement is strange and stilted. She's cruel use of this work, but it's oddly awkward. It probably has to do with Kalon. Kalon seems to have noticed something. Come on, divulge your name. Kuan bolts up in a swift motion and stares the housekeeper in her face. As are my baby girl from the first into our Aramoto, Mother Truck and Soka. Ah, more nostalgia. Now, where's the rest of the gag? And she has another one of the surrogate's mothers, eh? You're not fooling anyone, and it's great to see her again. Like, Carla was pretty good, but I was really curious about Toka for the longest time. And when we first saw the worker, I was just thinking, is that her? Because I was obviously not Nosery. I mean, Nosery has like a similar hair color, but eye color, it's different. So I was just like thinking, it's just like, wait a minute. Is it her? I was just trying to keep it at them. And I was waiting for something like this. <laughs> Kana. Yeah, I mean, more importantly, why don't you tell me? Come on. Seeing her as a worker at an end is just a bit odd to me, though. Maybe I don't really have much of a recollection. Let me phrase that. A recollection of what happened in the past game. I still hold Toka quite dear, okay? Like, Karo and Toka were such good characters for me. Then again, the cast in their own right were pretty good. That's why I want to see more of them. Toka the housekeeper. Well, the lady in the housekeeper's uniform finally turns her face to us. Like, did she have, like, feathery ears as well? <laughs> Oh yeah, she was a salt lady. Put down your hood, please. I want to see your long hair again. You your ponytail. Yeah, we schema. Oh, so you were vague about it. The housekeeper quakes with anger for a moment more, but finally turns her calm face to Kuon. Toga hugs Kuon with both arms. Oh, no CG to go with it! Her gestures are a bit uncouth and awkward, but I can feel her sincere love for Kuon in them. Toka, 
cool and seems a bit embarrassed by this, but there's a genuine and deep happiness there too. The owner watches them peaceably, eyes half-lidded. Peaceably? What do you mean, like, peacefully? It's peaceably! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, I was just thinking that. Yeah, not even. So, what? The owner's office is in front of the building. So, what? The owner's office is in front of the building. So, what? The owner's office is in front of the building. So, what? The owner's office is in front of the building. お見知りおきのほど。Likewise。ここには私たちだけ。今は住み戻ってもよろしいのではなくて。今の私は白老学の女子です。それ以上でもそれ以下でもな。ありません。Carla smiles wryly as Toka says this and gives a small sigh in response. なんか事情があるらしいけど、とりあえず触れない方がいいのかな。どうも、クオンともどもはお世話になってます。悪の世話をしているのは私なのだけどな。That is true. Kuan interjects for some reason, but she seems a little more childlike and playful than usual. Oh, I mean, she maybe wants to impress her mommies. She bows deeply as she speaks. She seems more like a mononofu than a simple worker. The cup she passes to me is filled to the brim with liqueur. It looks like the same kind of drank here before, but the scent is more powerful. True, beverages are made to be drank. She chuckles a bit as she speaks. よろしければこちらからも1個。慎んで頂戴いたしますわ。もちろん、当館もいただきますわよね。では、それがし。私はこれで。Oh, drop the formalities. I know you're always a stiffen, but still. Toka raises her cup as she says this, but, uh, that. Sakazuki,というか,湯飲みですよね?それ。茶碗酒ってやつだろうか?よっぽど強いんだろうな。この特売からでよければ、どうぞ。いや、そうではなく。それがし。私は茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ。茶をいただければ
様ででもいつまでも子供ではありませんものねそろそろ許してもいい頃合い受けてもらえるかしら<笑> Wait! Does k u o n like never drink booze? Until now! まさかこんな日が来るなんて月日の流れは早いものですわね、huh. <笑>あの時の仮さえなければそれでは乾杯といきましょうかこの喜ばしき日を祝してこの良き日この良き場この友柄とことほぎて乾杯 On this wonderful video. Kanpai. 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 Ah, we all begin to drink and the mood soon brightens. Guess all our talk of rare liqueurs and foreign delicacies wasn't for nothing. The dishes being brought out are all things I've never seen before. With distinct and delicious tastes. They try to explain the origin of each new treat, but I'm way too busy stuffing my face to listen. What's more? Um, I... Oh, you're drunk, I think. I get up, I exclaim as I taste the liqueurs, but every single one they bring out is fantastic. So, これもまた別の酒ですね。ウッシュカかな。うまみがあるけど、後味がすっきりしている。はい、祖国から取り寄せたものです。この料理にはこちらのお酒がよく合うと思いまして。確かに。昔からひいきにしていた酒蔵のものなのですが、最近は人気のせいか、品薄になってしまいまして。仕入れに苦労する自慢の一品です。She fills my cup as she tells me all this。まさに桃源郷だな、こりゃ。自分の住みかの上にあるなんて、東大元暮らしというか、上が明るいというか。I slip into a nice buzz, feeling my thoughts beginning to slow and relax. このハチミツシ子供の頃に隠れて飲んだのと同じ味だ同じの探してたけど見つからなかったのに懐かしいな見つかるはずがありませんわこれは特別な彼女がつけたものですものじゃあこれってこの日のためのとっておき味わいなさいなあ,あ、わいぐっまま。そうか、わちすくわんふらわいよ。Pensive and quiet, she seems for a moment like she's about to cry, but she takes a long drink instead. Decide not to ask any questions and pour more liqueur into her mug. That's right. Drink up some more of the happiness.
こちらの珍味もいかが川魚の実を樽に敷き詰めて塩を振り何年も発酵させたものですわ Oh, must be pretty salty. Shio Karai Deskedo, Xenina Bimi Desuayo. Then again, challenge accepted when it comes to seafood. Throw any my way. So they were so good. Esco, Koredaiski that to me, so Nani Tabesa de Morena Katana. Otona no Chimio, Gohan no Kazuni Mori Mori to Taberata, Tamari Masen. Oh. Kyoan seems to be feeling a little more comfortable now. So, yeah, the Kadera. Actually, yeah. I'm curious about it too. Kikita Katanoa, Pontoni Sonokoto? Hey, I want to ask you a question. What about the other characters? Where is the rest of the gang? I want to see them all grown up. Kyo averts her eyes a little guiltily as Karola fixes her gaze directly on her. Actually, speaking of grown up. Oh. Oh, I really want to see her. Yep. I, I, I know who I want to see next, but I won't divulge the name for now. Carola sets down her cup as she pauses, trying to remember how everything began. Kuonが そうですよね。この国の発展には目を見張るものがありますわ。文化に技術、民の豊かさ、国々をつなぐ街道に張り巡らされた上下水道、そして帝の治世そのものも。うん、見どころの多い国だと思う。Kuon answers promptly, as though called upon in a classroom. So Kanjita Vatashtachiva Monomi Yusan no Tsumori Data, Tosho no Yoteo Henko Ste Shibaraku, Kono Tito ni Koshio Chitskeru Kotoni Shimashtano Kono Yamato Motto Shiru Tameni Moshko Ste この国の方が居心地が良くなったりとかして。お話は最後まで聞くものですわ。そしてこの国に溶け込むほどにこの国の大きさを知ることになりましたわ。そして同時にいくつかの短所もね。The baths. Hi. <laughs> their main flaw was their lack of bathing. That's why there's so much filth around. I knew it. この国は虫風呂が一般的で。たっぷりと湯に満たされたお風呂をあまり見かけませんのよね。そんな風呂場がある旗小屋は数えるほどしかない上に、お大臣様御用達のようなところだったりして。I 
think most misunderstanding this whole conversation. But Kua nods in fierce agreement, of course.文化の違いといえばそれまでですけど、まさかこんなにも湯船が恋しくなるだなんて思ってもみませんでしたわ。そっか。それで。ええ、それがこの白老角の成り立ち。あまりに我慢できなくなって自分で作ることにしましたの。こうして毎日たっぷりとお湯が張られた湯船に疲れるようになりましたわ。すごい。やっぱり彼らを姉様だ。で、待て待て。今ので完全に納得かよ。I この程度でも指折りのものだと自負していましたのに。いや、気持ちはわかりますが、自分が風呂に入りたいってだけで、旗小屋一軒建ててしまうなんて。そうね。とはいえ、風呂をしましたの？ Carola swirls the liquid in her cup as she stares off into the. That distance, wistfully. If you want to make a pool, you need to be able to get enough water. Why does it not seem to be in this area? Why does it not seem to be in this area? Why does it not seem to be in this area? Why does it not seem to be in this area? Why does it not seem to be in this area? Why does it not seem to be in this area? Why does it not seem to be in this area? うん。それも虫風呂が一般的な理由かもな。ええ、本当よく考えられてますこと。それで仕方なく水脈に近い場所を探して知り合いに頼んで水脈を引っ張ってきてもらいましたの。何が苦労したんだ。大変だったのはそ
仕方なかったというかうん他にもならず者たちが押し寄せてきてみかじめ料を要求してきた時などどれだけ苦労させられたかあらちゃんと私が相手をするって言いましたのに部屋に閉じ込めたのはどなただったかしら苦労して作った湯船を壊され怒り心頭のお前を野に放てた血の雨が降ると分かっていてか Yeah! It would literally be just one fell cleave. いかに目立たず穏便に済まそうとしたそれがしの苦労が水の泡だひどい言いようですわねちょっと話し合いをするだけですのに With a large hunk of mail. それにしても目立たず穏便にねえ<笑>何が言いたいクオンその後どうなったと思うえ何やら鳥物の声が一晩中程度<笑>ま待て何でもないクオン彼らの言うことは聞かなくていい。何でもないからな。<笑>変わってないんだ。何の話かよくわからん。中には入れそうな雰囲気じゃないな。しかし、この二人はどんな関係なんだ。おかみと女子しではあるが、主人と家来。という感じではないし単なる友人同士とも違うなんていうかもっとでも10日お母様はどうしてここで女腰なんかを ?Something to do with a dad? k u n asks just as the same question enters my mind それは10日お母様ならもっと別のここの用心棒とかうんそれはだ強いて答えるなら女を磨く修行のためになへえもともと用心棒をしていたのだだがこの程度の治安がいいからかこの白老角にちょっかいをかけてくるようなふらち者はいなくてな。平穏で何もすることがない。気がない一日、ただ有事に備え、待機する毎日が続いていた。あの人たち、よほど恐ろしい思いをしましたのね。かわいそうに。お前が言うな。<笑>みんなが忙しそうに働いている中。何もせずに待機というのは結構普通でなあんフリーキンエッグ、just like how? 別に何でも。I just want to slack up all day! 毎日ゴロゴロできるのが何で苦痛なんだ ?Some people just like being proactive! ハッカいや、なんでそんな微妙な目で見るそれが毎日ともなるとさすがに耐えられんなのでいざという時まで女越しとして白老角を支えることにしたのだ私としてはできることならおとなしくしていてもらいたかったですわ何を言う働かざる者食うべからず我らが主が残した格言を忘れたわけではないだろうなそうですわねそんなことも言ってましたわね。カロラは smile s to spite herself, as if dwelling on some distant memory。働かざるもの、くべからず。なんて嫌な言葉だ。我らが主と言ったけど、全く相いれない存在と見た。Well, yeah, because you're pretty much polar opposites. Just as I pour another drink, a new dish arises as if it had been waiting for the perfect moment. 
The food piled on top of the plate looks vaguely familiar to me. Taters! Now give me some backstory about them. Kuan's eyes glimmer of excitement at the sight. What is a world without taters? A miserable lack of fries. <laughs> Kuan answers distractedly, taking one of the moral and biting eagerly into it. That's the first normal sounding food I have heard other than, you know, fish. <laughs> like, you know, just have some pickles and meatballs. して、彼らね様が。私にだってこのくらいは作れますわよ。さすが。君がお子様扱いとは。いや、この二人からしたら確かにお子様なんだろうな。ああ、いや、because they're her motherly figures. しかし、見ていて少し小そば良い感じがするな。どうしたの? Yeah, tell me whether or not it's an actual tater. Ah, ah, じゃあ、一つ。やはり故郷の食べ物というのは特別なのか。妙なくらいに上機嫌だな。おかずをモロロに乗せて食べても美味しい。そこのタレをつけて食べても美味しいから。さっきまで優雅だった主演がいつもの
Well, I mean, that's, I guess that's what save points are for in a visual novel. But dang, I, I just didn't want to leave it there. I was getting so into it. But yeah, it's that woman that they mentioned, uh, that one of those winged ones. Because I know there was two winged characters in the original. One that started with a C in her name. Yeah, it has to be the other one. Ah, I hope so, <laughs> anyway. Because I remember a white-haired one. And then there's like a blonde one. But anyway, folks, enough about me and randomly reminiscing about the past and actually really wanting to replay the old game more than ever now, I'm not going to lie, but well, that, that, that's for another time as well. But, folks, thank you all very much for watching this lengthy episode of Utawaira Ramuro Mask of Deception, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.